Hello, I'm Qiang. I would like to introduce our work, a comprehensive benchmark of deep learning libraries on mobile devices. Deploying deep learning on mobile devices has been a notable trend. It's reported that the DL libraries apps on Google Play Market have increased in recent years. So, optimizing inference performance has been a hot topic. More and more DL libraries are emerging. For example, Google Purpose, TFLet, Alibaba Purpose, MN, etc. To support on move on device deep learning inference deep learning the libraries play a critical role existing benchmarks that aims to understand the performance mostly focus on hardware and uh, models even focusing on the server however it's worth noting that this works leaves the uh, DL libraries under its plot. No prior work even dive deep into the ecosystem of model libraries and provide quantitative results on their performance. Our benchmark targets on device inference and trumps at the aspect of rich support for more DL libraries. The benchmark includes six popular libraries a TFLet, NCN, MN, PyTorch Mobile, MIS, SMP. It also contains 15 models spanning from image classification, object detection to NLP. The table shows the mobile mo models with different pressures, including float. 32 and int 8 and the model can run on almost cpu gpu dsp what's more benchmark can run on almost every android device benchmark not only supports inference time but also detailed metrics those unique dimensions lead us to insightful ob observations so, from the perspective of software, how do DL libraries affect inference? We are the first to understand the inference performance across different libraries. We mainly focus on the following aspects. Inference performance, impact of quantization and hardware, integrating operators from different libraries, code start inference, and inference involvement over time. The current slide shows the workflow. Models come from two sources. One is the model zoo of TensorFlow and PyTorch. The other is by using the built-in converters of each DL library to convert models to different formats. It has unique check to verify their correctness for fair comparison. The desktop set benchmark iterates over each DL library. It first puts the library and corresponding models to device through ADB. The device cleans the system environment and then loads the library and model into memory to warm up and execute the inference. The testing results will be written to device storage and retrieved to desktop. In this following, I would like to share performance analysis from several aspects. First of all, we all use CPU to understand the library performance. The horizon axis represents the smartphone and the vector axis represents models with different pressures. The colorful block represents library with smallest inference time. For example, the circled colorful blocks stand for MN run fastest in this scenario, as shown in the figure. The result is a lot of fragmentation. Each library has at least one best performing scenario. There's no 
One set fits all library for optimal performance across models and hardware like CPU, GPU have similar performance. So we also want to know how large the gap is. We further summarize the performance gap between the best performing DL libraries and the worst and second best. The gap is defined as the ratio of the inference time of two libraries. So these libraries are all specifically designed for mobile device. We find the number in the table is large. Therefore, the performance gap can be quite severe. And we deem that model complexity does affect inference time. For example, the complexity represented by flaws and the number of model parameters. Also, mobile NVNet v2 and MemNasNet have, have similar flaws and parameters. Their performance vary a lot across different DL libraries. Since heterogeneity makes on device optimization more difficult, therefore, to pursue the optimal performance and uh, the developers need to incorporate different libraries and dynamic local one based on the current model and hardware platform. And the figure summarizes the best inference performance on different model representations. We focus on the C32 and the C8. It shows the quantization on CPU indeed, indeed brings inference speed up in most scenarios, but the quantization speed up effect is smaller than theoretical value. There are following primary reasons. Model Mobile system, system or chips also have good, good support for flops, and uh, the conversion between int and flops can in, incur natural overhead. Not every model can be accelerated through int its quantization. In certain cases, the int its based inference is even slower than float. There exists a great potential at software level to accelerate the inference of quantized models. We would like to investigate how GPU affects performance across the library. We focus on C32 and G32 as known to us. GPU can indeed bring inference speed up, but in certain cases, GPU even runs slower than CPU. Then we focus on G32 and G8. On int 8 based on models, GPU can hardly bring any benefit. There are following primary reasons. Firstly, mobile GPUs are mainly designed for rendering instead of general purpose computing. Secondly, the deep learning libraries are not as well optimized for GPUs as CPU. Thirdly, mobile GPU often often don't have native support for int it did format. Therefore, the IQ inference falls back to flaws thirty two false. They leak GPU support for some operators, and those operators will fall back to run on CPU, which incur overhead of DIT copy. Our findings motivate DL libraries developers to focus on GPU optimization, including support more types of operators and single operators performance. It also motivates DL libraries research to design the models suitable for GPU computing. In this slide, we focus on C32 and D8 running on DSP can reduce the inference time. There is mainly because DSP has equipped with AI capacities. DL libraries perform even worse on those hardware. In other was the current DL libraries uh, cannot fully exploit and the capacity of each hardware. It also motivates DL libraries 
a research to design the models suitable for hardware computing and reduce high memory access operator. And the whole about integrating the best performing operators from libraries. We established an Oracle lab that combines the faster operator from libraries in the table by combining the operator from different libraries. We are, can achieve 0 to about 30% inference time reduction across different models. As different libraries have different ways to Im implementation, so the diversity need to be unified before the operator can be combined. And then we focus on code start inference. The code start inference is the first inference beginning from model loading. The figure show how much time solar code start inference is on CPU and GPU. Overall, code start inference is much slower than warm inference. And then we break down the code start inference of NCN. We find the code start of NCN is made up of loading model, memory preparation, and the first inference. From the figure, we also find memory preparation accounts for the largest proportion of code start inference of all mobile models. Optimization of code start inference is rarely explored topic. Potential solution included speeding up memory preparation use multi-threads and generating pipeline to run I.O. intensive, memory intensive, and computer intensive at the same time. And then we longitudinally analyze how the performance of DL libraries involves across the time. We select the TF LED to test the performance on commits every week. Overall, the performance of DL libraries are continuous improving in early years and become relatively stable since 2020. We found the performance of deep learning libraries are continuous improving. However, not every commit will result in the performance optimization. We regard such commits that cause significant performance degradation on certain models as performance bug. A common reason is that a new operator is pushed to improve the performance of models but don't work well under certain settings. It's almost impossible to fully eliminate performing performance bugs. A comprehensive benchmarking tool is available for developers to test their commits. In summary, we designed a comprehensive benchmark to understand the performance of six popular deep learning libraries and find interesting observations and conclusions. This work also shows insightful implications for landscape of deep learning libraries ecosystem. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so we have the author uh, 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 who is there for the Young uh, 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 We have a question in the chat, so I will uh, read it to you once I have the whole question on my screen. Uh, well, thank you for your presentation uh, from uh, Pingyang Wan. Uh, is uh, interested in your work and have a question about it. Uh, maybe Fengyang, you can you can uh, ask your question uh, directly now. Okay, I, I can see the chat. I can yeah. see the chat. Okay, thank you for the suggestion. I agree that combining the insights of this work and the key ideas of compa uh, compare can potentially. Uh, augment uh, 
libraries in the in the deployment. In fact, some DL libraries are already search for an optimal working group group size in their GPU in in the implication because of high um, fragmentation of mobile device generating an execute uh, execution plan for each device is uh, impractical. So uh, I think uh, I think if possible, I will plan to add uh, them to DL libraries to accelerate the inference. Um, according to our measurements, uh, most of the models, the performance is not even close to our tested DL libraries after many hours of, of, of uh, search. But uh, I think it's, uh, it's uh, impractical for to add uh, the compiler into DL libraries. Okay, is this my, is this my reason? Hello, Fei, uh, hello, Fei Yang. Okay, okay. okay. You have okay. a microphone on? Okay, okay, okay. Back again. Uh, just very short question because we're, we're running uh, out of time. Uh, you know that some uh, Android phone, for instance, uh, owners they, they they should they, they choose to not use the the vendor uh, OS, but they put another OS or another ROM, and then uh, you don't have the same um, the same uh, uh, software on the on the phone. Did you uh, always try with the uh, the software and the, the OS for, for, from the vendor, or did you try with other phones? Uh, okay, uh, 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 and, <clears throat> and I don't understand what you said, but uh, what uh, and understand, I uh, get a uh, grasp for your means is uh, if uh, if we change the OS. Yeah, um, but uh, but uh, we focus on we focus on the uh, the smartphone. Smartphone is, is uh, we choose the um, de de developed de the developed list uh, representative smartphones from um, such as uh, um, and just quantum and uh, hot tip smartphones, but I think uh, the benchmark can run all, almost uh, mobile device. It, it can not only run on uh, smartphones, but also can run in, in re representative and uh, other mobile device. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your presentation.